Hello guys, welcome back to Get Shutter Tips and in this video I'm going to talk about how to fix Minecraft launcher is not installing error code 0x8007048 on your windows and how you can fix this up and if you are for the first time to our channel then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification so let's move to the workarounds so the first one which you have to do is you just have to make sure that if you are on the microsoft store you just have to follow this one that if you are on the microsoft store imagine so what do you have to do is you just have to uh, sign out from the account you just have to sign out from the account then you just have to sign as you can see i have already signed in so i just have to sign out then i just have to sign in back after signing back along with parallelly i have to make sure that the date and times are correct so i just have to uh, right click over here there is an option called adjust date time so i have to click on this one and as you can see set automatically i have to set this to on same way i have to set this on and also time zone automatically i have to turn this on this is what i have to do both these things should be turned on or else you'll be having the trouble so this is the first and basic step which you have to try out first thing you just have to sign out and sign in back then you just have to make sure that the date and time is correct that is what you have to do so moving on next one is all about you have to run the windows store troubleshooter you have to run this so just follow the instructions so you just have to go over here and we have to navigate to settings now from here you just have so guys first thing what you have to do is you just have to run the troubleshoot so you just have to go over here at the system from here you just have to scroll down and navigate to troubleshoot from here you just have to go for other troubleshooters and from here you just have to check as you can see we are having windows store apps right so you just have to go for run and this will be detecting if any kind of issues are happening so that will be fixing the issue up and this is what you have to do this is very important and you have to try this out so if you are having any kind of issue you just have to fix it or else you just have to navigate to next one so right you just have to navigate to next one so there is no issue so you just have to go for uh, next and it will be asking you to go for the next one we are finding out any if any issues or not so we will move to the next one so next one is all about you have to clear store cache using ws reset command so you just have to go over here you have to search w reset command you just have to open this when you open this you will be getting a box like this so this will be disappeared after a few seconds and you will be getting to uh, microsoft store okay you will be getting to microsoft store then you will be having an option to install the microsoft store and you just have to install the microsoft store and you have to get into the game and you have to see whether you are able to fix the issue or not that is what you have to try out so this is very important steps which you have to try out sometimes by doing this as, as i said earlier this is right now the black screen has been went i mean it's go faded away and we are into microsoft store now we just have to search for the game and you have to try to install and this is what you have to do moving to the next one is all about you have to update your windows that is very important so updating windows is quite easy you just have to go over here you have to search for settings go over here on windows update and you just have to click over here to check for any kind of updates or not you just have to give, go for it then then you just have to update it right now i'm having this if i went to restart we will not be able to record so i'll be skip this part make sure this is on latest version of windows right moving on to the next one is all about you have to reset store apps you just have to do this so to do to reset the store app you just have to go over here navigate to settings now from here go to apps from here navigate to apps and features from here you just have to search for microsoft store you just have to search for microsoft store okay so right now as you can see we are having the option so you just have to click on this one go for advanced option scroll down and we are having an option called reset so just click on this one and go for reset once it is done it is all good to go and you have to check whether you are able to fix the issue up or on and you are having still the issue so just close this one moving to the next one is all about you have to reset windows update that is what you have to do so to do this reset windows update and followed by microsoft store install background intelligent and also background intelligent transfer service you just have to reset all those things so you just have to go over here you have to search for services just open this one sorry okay now from here the first one is all about windows update right you just have to uh, double click 
and now as you can see the startup side being set into automatic there is no issue so i just have to go for okay now navigate to restart this right and once it is done you just have to go for next one next one is all about it is background intelligent transfer service that you just have to do you just have to go to background intelligent transfer service so uh, you just have to navigate to over here background intelligent transfer service so you just have to double click as you can see the startup type is manual so i just have to change this to automatic i just have to go for apply go for okay then i just have to go for sorry start if there is start option just have to go for it and in the panel you just have to make sure that all the xbox series which is over here should be running it should be in the running mode for example if you scroll down and navigate to x over here as you can see the xbox accessory management service is running but xbox live auth manager is not running in the same way xbox live game service is not running so you just have to right click change this to automatic and i just have to go for start then i just have to go for apply and okay now as you can see it is running same way simultaneously i have to go for xbox live game service i just have to right click change this to automatic go for start then i just have to go for apply and go for okay so right now all the xbox services are running which is quite important also this is very important once it is done you just have to close navigate to microsoft store and you have to try to install the game this is what you have to do this is quite important right and moving on we just have to talk about the next one next one is all about you have to do in the power switch is called uninstall the game services you just have to do this so i'll be i'll be having few uh or few, few commands which you have to do in the powershell so i'll be giving you that so over here as you can see we are having the commands so what do you have to do is the first one is all about uninstall the rem uh, remains of game service so i just have to copy this so i'll be providing in the video description so you just have to go over here and type for powershell you just have to right click over here i mean run as administrator go for yes and you just have to paste it and you just have to press enter right once you press enter you just have to wait for it and once it's all done what you have to do is this will take a little bit of time so you just have to wait for the next one and parallelly you just have to check we are having any kind of thing the same way we are having one more so as you can see we are having one more we just have to install the game service so i just have to paste it and press enter so right now i got the microsofts now we are having the game service right so it's directly so i just have to go for install it and once install i just have to go for it as you can see it is downloading so once it is downloading with the game service you have to try and most probably the issue has to be fixed and even after trying this if it's not working then we just have to move to the next one so i'll be closing this now the next one is all about you have to run powershell command you just have to run the powershell command same way you just have to go over here now as you can see we are having the command over here okay so uh, i'll we are having the run the power so this is the command so i'll be giving in the video description so you don't have to worry you just have to close this or minimize this go over here in the windows powershell but if you navigate to windows powershell we have to make it uh, run as administrator so go for run as administrator go for yes once it is done you just have to paste it and press enter now as you can see the process is been taking out in between so you just have to wait for the complete process and once it is done you just have to follow to the next one next one is all about uninstall and reinstall the store that is what you have to do so this is going to take a little bit of time so this process is going to take a little bit so we'll minimize this and next one is all about uninstall and reinstall the store so in order to reinstall the store you just have to copy the command over here so you just have to uh, get this command first one so i'll be closing this up in the same way so over here as you can see this has been running out in between so we just have to wait for it once this done you just have to give the command so i'll be keeping this here so i'll be going it once again windows powershell so run as administrator go for yes so i'll be pasting this and press enter so this will be taking a little bit of time deployment of progression so it is initialized as you can see this is done same way i have to copy the rest command or from here i just have to copy the rest command okay so i'll be navigating to window powershell once again i'll be pressing it and i will press enter so now as you can see it has been done successfully and moving on we have to move to the next step we have to check after doing this whether i have to check whether you are able to fix issue or not even after trying this done with this one i just have to go over here and restart the pc and i have to check whether they are able to fix issue up or not even after trying this if it's not working then we just have three methods which you have to try which is quite important and one among them which is the 10th step is all about you have to run in cpl.cpl command over here 
so I'll be showing you guys how to do this up so we will just copying this one so this is a command okay so I just have to go over here and I have to paste it so I'll be getting this I just have to open this from here once I open this I just have to navigate to advance it as you can see over here what I have to do is I just have to make sure that uh, under this right uh, this one I just have to scroll down and make sure see use HTTP 1.1 all these things I have to make sure these are unticked right these are not unticked and as you can see use TLS 1.0 should be ticked use SL, SSL 3.0 should be ticked use TLS 1.1 use TLS 1.2 use TLS 1.3 all these things should be ticked I have to go for apply and go for ok make sure this is enough if it's not ticked you have to tick it right you have to mark it and once then you just have to go to the store and you have to see right this is very important right now this is finished so i'll be closing this one and this is also finished i'll be closing this one and also make sure that you are logged in the store with the same account for some reasons because for some users what happens is they will be signed in a different account so they will be having the issue so what they have to do is they have to make sure they have signed with the same account right or be or be they'll be having the issue this is quite important also so you just have to make sure you have signed with your account which is uh, same account on both microsoft store and xbox should be same account on the same email id it have to be signed in so this is very important and the last and the least one is all about you have to update windows 10 using creation tool which is quite important so i'll be giving a link in the description which will take you to download the windows uh, tool over here right so this is the tool so you just have to go over here so create windows 10 installation media so just download the tool and you have to install it and purposefully you have to do the same you just have to go over here and let me open this one and you just have to install go for yes and this will ask you the questions and all these things you just have to go for things ready and you have to install it and the so guys we just have to move to the workarounds and some of the workarounds among this is the first one moving on which means uh, the 12th step which you have to try out is all about you have to install the launcher you have to install the launcher uh, from you just have to install the launcher from xbox app or try installing the form of microsoft store or try installing from the xbox app which means you have to download minecraft from either microsoft store you have to try if it's not working then possibly you have to go for xbox app so you can just search for xbox app because it is uh, pre-installed in all the time over here so you just have to go over here and you have to search for minecraft okay and try to install on your pc and sometimes you know this can work this is what you have to try same way you have to parallelly go for microsoft store also you have to try it in between and you just have to check this is what you have to do so here you have to search for minecraft you have to search for minecraft and you have to try to install the game this is what you have to do even after trying with this next is all about you have to download it from the minecraft minecraft website that is what you have to do so you have to download so i'll be giving a link in the description which will take you to this as you can see in the link you have to download the minecraft manually there is an option called download for windows 10 or 11 you just have to go for it and you have to download and install it in the same way as you can see need a different flavor in the same way you can go for 7 and 8 download for mac os and all these things are available so you just have to install it right you have to install microsoft uh, sorry the minecraft over here on the pc manually and you have to check whether you are able to fix the issue if the launcher is not working or if you are having any kind of error then most probably we have to talk about the next one so next one is all about to have few commands to be run uh, command should be run on the powershell so uh, on the video description i'll be giving this command so you don't have to worry on the commands all will be given in the video description so you just have to go over here and you have to search for powershell go for run as administrator go for yes and just have to paste the command and you have to press enter so this is going to take a little bit of time so you just have to wait for the complete one and once it is done you just have to check with the launcher once again by trying it on most probably this has to work in some cases this won't work so even if it's not working you don't have to panic all we have to do is we just have to close this then you just have to check over here so uh, they're asking to go to the microsoft store we just have to navigate to microsoft installation process which i have done earlier so we'll be having the issue so right now we are able to play there is no issue so let me minimize this one okay so and once this is done we next is all about we have to delete microsoft store local cache files 
and also i'm not suggesting this one as a mandatory one because this has this is not an important step because most of the people has mentioned some of the step which worked for them so that's part only uh, that particular part only i'm covering so that is you just have to repair and uh, reset xbox app so you just have to go over here and you have to right click and there is an option called app setting so i'll go over here you just have to navigate to xbox now from here what you have to do is as you can see if you scroll down you will be heading to two options reset option and repair option so just go for repair simultaneously go for reset and also you have to go for it in the same way right you just have to go for it in the same way if you go over here in the apps apps and features you can navigate to microsoft store okay on the microsoft store also you can do the same like i have to search for microsoft store so now i found this one i have to click over the here advanced option from here i have to scroll down and click on repair simultaneously go for reset and once it is done you just have to check with this one sometimes it can work i'm not saying it will work but sometimes it can help you guys out so next is all about you have to uh, go for the next one because like for services some services has to be done like you have to enable the services so i'll go over here let me navigate to services just go over here we have already done in the uh, previous step we have enabled the windows update then background intelligent transfer task and all those things and regarding xbox but here we have to search for few more like you know ip helper you have to navigate to ip helper and you just have to enable this as you can see we are having ip helper so you just have to double click as you can see this has been running into automatic there is no issue so it is running so you just have to as you can see it is running so just go for apply and go for okay it is all done so ip running is working good right now in the same continuously you have to search for xbox live auth manager so you just have to scroll down and as you can see it is running xbox live manager is running you have to make sure it is all good simultaneously you have to go for xbox live network services so just have to go over here as you can see this is also running i checked this has been set into automatic it's all good so eventually you have to go for xbox live game save so this is not running so you have to change the startup type to automatic go for start then you just have to wait for a short period of seconds go for apply and go for okay simultaneously you have to go for gaming services you have to navigate to gaming services as you can see we are having gaming so, so both is running over here so even though i'm just showing you that as you can see it is automatic simultaneously if you go over here this is also set into automatic moving on we have to go for windows update because we have already done same way microsoft install service you just have to navigate to microsoft install service so we just have to scroll down and here you will be able to find microsoft store install service so as you can see this is set into manual so change this to automatic go for apply and go for okay and restart the services you just have to do the restart for almost everyone so you just have to do this so this is also very important and once it is done you just have to close this and go back over here and check whether you are able to fix the issue even after trying this if it's not working then we have one basic step and most of the people has said this it helped them after trying this you just have to do a restart Okay, you have to do a force restart and for many of the users this help it so these are the basic trouble which you have to try. so guys moving on we have to try out another step which is all about try installing minecraft launcher from the library so this is quite important so you just have to go over here and you have to search for microsoft store and you have to open this so if you already downloaded the minecraft from the store it will be available over here as you can see you just have to go over here uh, you will be having an option to navigate to library so i can't find it so here it is library so from here in the library you just have to go to minecraft right so from here you just you will be having the option because it's already installed in some case you will be having an option to install so you just to install the Mi uh, minecraft within the library of microsoft and you have to see microsoft store and you have to see and that has to be worked out even after trying this if it's not working then we just have to go to the next one next one is all about we have to run few commands we have to run what you have to do is just have to minimize this one you just have to go over here and you have to search for command prompt you just have to run as administrator go for yes 
and you have to type first one sfc space slash scan now and you have to press enter this is done simultaneously you have to go for next one next one is all about you have to go for dism i'll be giving this in the description so you don't have to worry online then slash clean up image restore help and you have to press enter so this is going to take a little bit of time and once it is done you will be able to fix issue up and once it is done you just have to go back over here as you can see it is getting processed so you just have to wait for a couple of minutes once it is done you just have to go to the microsoft store and you have to try most probably after trying these steps the issue has to be fixed and this is what how you can fix microsoft store from the microsoft store and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out